what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video we are going to be talking about google maps guys some of our friends have been asking me to do a video on how to search for an address and how to like navigate the map to that particular address so i thought i'd uh, show that in this video this video is probably going to be a short video anyway we have already talked about uh, how to bring in google maps inside your flutter applications extensively in another video right i'll link that uh, other video in the description below so if you haven't watched it already kindly watch it once and uh, i also installed the uh, geolocator plugin which is going to be of essential help uh, while we try to re reverse ge geocode the uh, address that is if you convert a latitude and longitude to a particular address it's called particular place it's called geocoding right if you convert the particular address into latitude and longitude coordinates it's called reverse geocoding okay uh, let's see how to do that reverse geocoding and navigate our map to that particular uh, location in this particular video so i have a app that i scaffolded just now there's nothing fancy in this let's start to write some code in this uh, first i'll have two variables google uh, map controller one is the google map controller map controller and this will be used to navigate to that particular uh, location and uh, i need an address right search address okay uh, then what i'll do is i'll get in here where's my pointer yeah body i'll have a stack and inside this i'll have children the first will be a google map uh, on map created uh, on map created this is a function that we'll write now fine this uh, function will be used to set the controller that was created when this map or google map was initialized to our uh, map controller variable all these we saw extensively i mean we talked about this in detail in my uh, video on how to bring in google maps inside your flutter applications guys and uh, after this i'll add some options options uh, google map options inside this i'll simply do a camera position uh, i'll have a camera position for the latitude and longitude coordinates, I'll simply use uh, New York's latitude and longitude coordinates. So I'll go ahead and fine. Uh, now fine. Now uh, a Google Map will be loaded inside our application when it runs, and then uh, it will be uh, shown on the. Uh, I, I mean, New York will be shown when it initially loads. Let's run this application on the device and see how this looks. Uh, now you can see that uh, a map has been loaded on to our screen. That's it. Okay, nothing fancy in this and it shows New York. Uh, now we'll add a search bar on the top. Okay, just like the Google Maps application, we'll add a search bar into which the user can enter a particular address. So after this Google Map widget, I'll add the next child. It will be a positioned, positioned, what happened? Positioned widget and uh, this I'll have some top 30, uh, right 15, uh, left 15 and I'll have a child, child will be a container. This container will have height 50.0 uh with double dot infinity and uh, decoration box decoration uh Fine. Now I have a simple container. Where is this? Ah, 
I, I have a simple container and uh, that container has a height of 50 and they should be positioned in such a way that it's present on the uh, present above the map since we are using a stack it will be present on top of the map let's just save this to see uh, how it looks see you can see that we have a nice looking container on the top right let's add a text field inside this so that it looks like a search bar uh, uh, after this box decoration i'll have a child child text field and inside this text field i'll simply uh, decoration input decoration uh, hint text enter address border once again uh, input border dot none content padding uh, edge insets dot only left 15.2 top 15.2 fine uh, suffix icon uh, icon button and inside this icon 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 start icon start search uh, on pressed Mm, I'll write another function. What happened? Search and uh, navigate and uh, navigate. So uh, icon size will be some thirty point zero. After this input decoration, I will simply do on changed value mm. set state search I'm sorry. Fine. Now all we need to do is write this particular function, right? Uh, for now, I'll even show you how this looks so that wait. Cool, right? And now it looks more like a search bar. We have a text field and a small icon that will enable us to trigger that search. Fine. Now, what we'll do is uh, we'll write a function called search and navigate. Search and navigate. And inside this function, all we need to do is reverse geocode that entered address, right? So geolocator uh, dot uh, place mark from address. Here there is a function called place mark from address, right? So here I'll add the search address. What was the address that we gave? Search address. Yeah, search address dot then uh, we'll get a result. This result will be a list list of place marks. Inside this, I'll simply do map controller once again. This I have already discussed, right? Map controller dot animate camera uh, camera update dot new camera position, and uh, inside that. I'll give a camera position. Fine. Now you understand what's happening here, right? I'm simply reverse geocoding that particular address and then I'm uh, taking the latitude from the first result. Okay. First topmost uh, value, right? And uh, I'm simply animating the camera to show that particular location. Uh, let's see if this works on our mobile device. For now, it's on New York, right? I'll just type uh, London, maybe. London. And I'll tap on search. 
actually nothing happened that's because i think we didn't call this yeah it hot reloaded now let's just tap on search wow it moved us to london right as you can see here we are now in london similarly i'll type in a different city maybe um sydney cool right now sydney is loaded similarly you can enter any address and be navigated to that particular uh, address guys uh, i'll show you a couple more maybe cool right so uh, yeah guys this is how you can reverse geo code and enter address and then move to that particular uh, location there is a lot of other stuff that will be returned with, along with this place mark as well uh, i have just used the latitude and longitude coordinates you can uh, get nearby locations and all uh, there is a lot of other stuff that you can get from this particular uh, returned uh, place mark okay uh, explore that and uh, yeah you will find that there is a lot of stuff that you can make use of from that returned place mark so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today i uh, hope this video helped you guys if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button and uh, if you really like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notifications icon so that you receive a notification each and every time i upload a new video and uh, yeah subscribe guys uh, and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye